Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another AM Tuesday here on the Contest of Speed Formula One channel. Uh, I am Ken Petter, joined alongside Andy Wu. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing lovely. Uh, we're back here again uh, after filling in for Shelly the Turtle. Uh, in the AM3 last night, have a couple more drivers in the grid than we did uh did yesterday. Uh, hope to have a couple more joining us, but uh, hey. speak of the devil. Look at that. Um, should get one more in uh, before the end of qualifying, but uh, yeah, looking forward to a hopefully exciting race around, uh, around Imola. Well, if uh, if the AM2 takeover of AM3 uh, is anything to go off of, it probably won't be. Uh, I've done hundreds of uh, these commentaries, and uh, that's probably the most boring race I've ever watched. Uh, but hopefully these guys <laughs> are a little bit better uh, suited uh, this evening. Uh, that wasn't much of a selling point, was it, to open off the uh, the broadcast. Uh, anyways, riding along with uh, Racing Fan, coming off of his first career win, uh, which has really gapped him uh, in front of the rest of the field. He's on 47.5 points, now 23.5 ahead of P2, which is Cheesehead, who is uh, the other driver. We're hoping to see load in here shortly. Um, but yeah, commanding lead for, for Racing Fan. And uh, if you remember back to last season, round 19, um, this was where Racing Fan got his first Cos podium. Yeah, that race uh, was a banger, uh, contrary to last night. Um, had a crazy ending to that race uh, with multiple, I think it was a couple of safety cars that we ended up having. Uh, an Argentinian holding up the entire field. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, but uh, yeah, I, I do that race. I think it was wet at some was, was it wet? Or was that our race? That was our race. Yeah, I remember one, one of the races it was snowing uh, in Imola, so we ran it. Yes, that was, that was a good time. Um, let's see who's coming across the line when. Uh, Death Storm coming off of a podium last week. We'll get to him motor filling in this week. Looks like Rogue is heading through the Variante Alta. I do have the names written down for the corners tonight. So, slight improvement, but, uh, you know, I've had an entire week to prepare for this as opposed to uh, three minutes last night. So, uh, hopefully the broadcast will be a little bit more stable. Captain Rowe goes provisionally on pole. 15.5 is the time, and that's a pretty good uh, pretty good time for the first run. Uh, looking at EU4 pole was a 15.287, excuse me. AM3 was a 15.426. Uh, so, first run for these two. Oh, DK actually, as I was looking at my sheet, uh, he bests that uh, up to a 15 flat there, thereabouts. Uh, Deathstorm in P4. No hot laps. Two guys on out laps. We have Shelly the Turtle who just unloaded a few uh, kilograms in the bathroom prior to uh, joining the lobby. So he'll be looking to be a little bit quicker. Uh, and Tin Man the Rowdy, his teammate tonight in that Red Bull, uh, reserving. Uh, he Oh, he was supposed to reserve last week, but he, uh, he had to do something else instead. Um, coming off a pretty tough tough race last night for uh, for Tin Man, but uh, hopefully you can get it uh, squared away this evening. Uh, speaking of things getting squared away, uh, E. Warren, uh, a lovely Nebraska native, um, while not being attacked by corn, he was being attacked by a tornado. Uh, he may be able to slide into the race with one minute remaining in play. Uh, they, they finally gave up on trying to play baseball in a, uh, in a tornado. Yeah, um... Turns out that is a bad idea. Now, depending on which way that tornado is coming at you, it can't either hurt or help your exit velo. Um, so hopefully for E. Warren, uh, he was able to do some science experiments there. Um, oh, Tin Man on like the... Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, shout out in the comments, Vincent Blom. Subscribe with Prime. Thank you a lot. Uh, I don't get paid for that, but uh, someone does. Um... BK we says, uh, for, uh, 
for fancy well, things like our test limits. Yeah, well, outside outside of our the the twenty five dollars uh twenty five dollar chili gift cards we get monthly. Um, you, you get. Oh, oh yeah, me. Well, I, I have to do all the heavy lifting. Um, BK uh, says good evening, and uh, it looks like. Uh, oh, shout out to BK for winning the AM3 race last night, by the way. Uh, Killer Clown and uh, Aided Thunder are both in the comments cheering on Captain Rogue. So, Captain Rogue once again bringing his own uh, fan uh, well, fan club. The captain they should be pulling, pulling for is uh, Captain America, who is currently on pole at the moment. Uh, DK Norte. Uh, this is his last race with us this season. Uh, before he goes off on deployment in the middle of the desert somewhere. Shout out, was it Jordan? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but yeah, we, we will be missing uh, one half of Ding It. I think we might leave that seat uh, like closed. You know, I, don't, I don't think we'll fill it with anybody because you can't just replace one half of Ding It. His wing it starts a lot. <laughs> Well, I would assume that maybe uh, Winget would like some help in the Constructors Championship. Uh, they're not off. Bit. They're not off to the best start. I uh, thought they'd probably be doing a little bit better. 19 points. They're currently tied for fifth with uh, with Williams. Uh, but who knows? Round four here. Maybe some guys will uh, get a change of fortune. Um, Spectre also reserving tonight in the Alfa Romeo. I think uh, we did not mention him yet. Uh, he was kind enough to join us in the commentary booth last night. Uh, after his race ended uh, about 200 meters off the line. Uh, through uh, what I am assuming is no fault of his own. So uh, that, was, that was nice of him to come out there and uh, hang out. Yeah, very nice guy. Uh, yeah. Very soothing voice. Yeah, he, does, he does have a pretty good yeah, voice. Yeah, he's, he's got, got a pretty solid voice. Yeah, he does. So it may be a future one uh, for you know, when we consider retirement. Um, oh man, Wingett was on a pretty good yeah, that was a, Yeah, that, that was a good one. Last it looks like he's going to go for another one. I'm not sure if he had enough to recharge. Uh, Emily is a very short lap oh, obviously this one and the next. oh so, so why did why did he stay sure out he oh he i think he stayed he's out too he made it tell yeah i think that's the only reason team player wing it really selling tonight for dk got the, uh, round the two the there it is 14 8 i was expecting some of these guys to be able to get into the 14s racing fan is numero uno for now, with 14.8, that is uh, clear of EU4 and AM3, but quite some margin. Like to see that. EU3 uh, could not come up with uh, anything relative because uh, they were yeah, it doing it. In, yeah, it was wet. So, uh, good job hey, from. The fastest. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Racing Fan. Let's go with. Oh, Shelly on his Shelly on his third medium lap just went. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Rogue since he tends to uh, bring all of the viewers. On a pretty tidy lap here, I didn't quite get the uh, sector. Split. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Ooh, almost. Right on the limit there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh he went and, over it there. Yeah, oh, and then there it is. There it is. Rogue was in line for uh, for a podium last week. Uh, but everything just kind of unraveled the second half of that race. DK is starting his lap. Cam Tizzle has gone up to P2. Good job to Cam. Uh, hopefully his start goes a little bit better than last week whenever uh, uh, B. Kvyat, uh slammed into his side pod after he took the lead on the start. Uh, yeah, Second round of this Italy swing. Had a race last night. Or had had a race at Monza last week. Imola this week. We're ticking off all of the major city centers in Italy one by one. I believe uh, last week Monza outside of Milan, uh, and Imola is right outside of Bologna. So I think that's two of the top seven yeah, populations. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we get a Rome Street circuit. Uh, oh yeah. Shout out to yeah, and anything is possible, I guess. Let's go back to DK. He is entering yes, sector yeah, three. Down. He is. He's, he he, uh, he had a scruffy uh, final chicane there. Uh, I don't I don't know what that. Was. What it's 
Oh, it's man, three. It's third sector. three tenths up, nonetheless, through the first two sectors. Um, yeah, that he blew it that in is. The third. Uh, yeah, he dives in. It's uh, Variante. Uh, Variante. Alf, Alta. 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 All right. Uh, Variante Alto. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I've got all of them here. Uh, they're pretty much all Variante. I believe that is probably Italian for chicane. Not entirely sure. Let's see if Harris Plex can stick a decent lap in. He's coming off some pretty good points last week. Nope, he is just going to hop right back in. So, uh, cool. Cool, uh, everybody. Can get a uh, full lap uh, with Specter. Please get me a full lap. Uh, all right. Well, well, how much time is left? And maybe it's not <laughs> Uh, and we got permanent yellow flags at the top left. Yeah, the motor I'd... is run out of gas at the, uh, in the first sector. So good, is... good to see. Completely uh, screwing up the broadcast. Takes a lot of curve through minutes. Variante Timberello. Now this is Variante Vilnov into Tosa. Now after this slight right-handed bend, it is Piratella. The, uh, I don't even know what you that call it. It's the apex Quick. there. Into everyone's favorite aqua minerale. Oh, goodness. Aha! And that is going to be an invalidation. Uh, so we didn't even get to see everything else. All the other places. And uh, Winget's on a lap. I think he is... I think oh, Man. he's gonna spin. Yeah, that is... That is a possibility around here. Taking a little bit too much of that inside curve just throws you right off. Well, I think he just carried too much speed, really. Oh, was uh, it? Yeah, I he kind of nailed the first afterwards. sector, and I think he just tried to make up more, more and more time, and the rear tires eventually said no. Uh, so he ended up in the gravel trap outside of the Villeneuve chain. There's 10 man holding his spot in P10. Does not improve on position he did improve a little bit on the time uh, got a lot of outlaps here you might have to do some math uh, or some some color association I think Captain Rogue is the first of the top four He's, uh, got the Italian helmet on I'm rocking the Italian flag as well uh, very much. Oh, too oh, much and ah, same thing. Yeah. He followed the same wheel tracks as uh, Alfie. Yeah, that that was incredible. Uh, Deja vu. Cam Tizzle's next up. Let's see if he does it into uh, Vilnov. A little, very clean. <laughs> yeah, a lot cleaner. Almost look cautious. I wonder if he knows he has more time to gain somewhere else in the lap. Oh, he's purple sector one. Didn't pop up for me. No, the sec uh, yeah, I did on the track. So it make it Oof. That was close. I exotic does a good job to get over there into Aqua Minerale. Chase NASCAR is retired he's from out, the session. Out of yeah, and that is out of the Vilnov. We're seeing all these guys have problems there so far. Cam Tizzle looking to put this possibly on pull. Right now, it's a five tenth. Uh, Advantage to racing fan, just about uh, exactly. That looked like a very clean lap from Sir Cam Tizzle. I don't know if you're on board uh, yeah. with the whole time. But yeah, was... it was. I, I'm not sure if it's a pull lap. Yeah, it's very he doesn't. He improves. Yeah, uh, tenth. Let's get on to DK, and I think Motor might have gotten in the way. I think he might have. Oh God, of course. He won! We We did it! Oh, he has lived. He lives. We got Cheesehead, ZX, and E. Warren. Uh, DK improved by a tenth and a half, but... I think he I was compromised. Could have been more. Shelly! Shelly up P2. into P2. 14.9. That's a strong lap from Shelly. Stronger and, lap from Racing Yeah, fan, Racing Fan goes 14.6. These are uh, A1 times for a Racing Fan right now. Oh, probably even better because we had we don't have ABS. Oh, and motor spins it out of Villeneuve. Uh, that is the fourth one today. I'm not sure. 
I Exotic's doing a really good job just letting people buy into Aqua Minerale. Uh, we never really talked about him, um, but he is, uh, he did get a podium. He is the super reserve this season. Super uh, sub. Super yeah, super sub. Super sub. Uh, had a P2, uh, round two in Baku. Uh, I think she's heads on a lap, which I don't think is allowed. I think DK may be as well. Uh, I think he might. Yeah, he might be going again. Uh, non compromised. Uh, or not compromised that time through the. Uh, nope, nope. Failed out. Was not happy with it. Anyone else on lap? Deathstorm? Dude, Deathstorm's tempting to have up to the first sector, but then bails out. What? Oh, I guess he, he doesn't have enough fuel. Okay, that was gonna be a bit of a, bit of a problem if she's had set a lap there, but he is invalidated, so. Um, glad that uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. A uh, bit of a field spread, though. Honestly, this looks pretty quick from Captain Rogue. I think this might be a hot lap still, even though it's two lap old softs. Yeah, yeah he's two. He's about three tenths up. Ah, uh, um, yeah, he yeah. lost a tenth and a half through that third sector, but and now, really close to DK's yeah, way. and and now that uh, now those softs are going to be absolutely shot. Uh, maybe not absolutely shot, but. Well, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about strategy last night. You want to get to 10 to 12 on these softs if you want to have any chance of doing a soft medium. Um, putting three laps plus an out lap and an in lap uh, on those softs, not really ideal uh, if you want to hit those but numbers. Him, Deathstorm, and Secure the Perks all have three laps yeah. on their tires. Yeah, uh, Wing It and Tin Man both have two laps as well. Uh, interesting stuff there. <laughs> Uh, it is a short track, so you know, tires don't wear too quickly. Well, outside of the top four, I think uh, best place to start at the moment is, is P11. Uh, the top four only did one lap on their tires. Uh, also, really quick lap times. Um, yeah, motor in P11. Uh, I, I think I exotic spray my pick outside the top ten. Yeah, you could be on for another podium here, especially if the guys in front of them are suffering from pretty high tire wear. Yeah, dude. Uh, we'll uh, get to some predictions here in a moment, but it is Racing Fan and Shelly the Turtle locking out that front row. Shelly uh, finally, finally having something good to him happen. Uh, hasn't really been anywhere. First three races of the season. Cam Tizzle, DK, Captain, Rogue, Death Storm, Secure the Perks, Wing It, Tin Man, Harris. Round out your top ten from Emila. Uh... So soft, medium, we or soft, have, soft, hard, yeah. right? Oh, fun, no. fun fact here. Uh, oh, looking at the grid, we have one Canadian in the race today. Uh, so I know we have a couple European flags: Captain Rogue, Tin Man, Spectre. and it's and it's the guy Chase, with the most American name. Yeah, Chase NASCAR is the only Canadian we have racing with us. Now, isn't that something? Um, Thank God we're finally getting rid of the Canadians. Yeah, I mean, I'm about tired of them, but you know, yeah, good thing Arbar died in a house fire. Yeah, really. Got, he really got under my skin. It is uh, House Fire Awareness Month, everybody. Um, make sure you check your smoke detectors. Because uh, God knows Arbar didn't before he died in that House Fire. Yep. Um, got some guys in the comments. Uh, be be sure to get some uh, predictions in in the, in the comments. I'll, I'll read them off. Um, if that's uh, what y'all want to do. Uh, no cost bets tonight, by the way. Um, but... Uh, who, who do we have commenting? We got BK rooting on Cam Tizzle. Uh, e Warren talking about the tornado that can't stop him. Well, he hasn't had any practice, so he's, this is going to be an interesting start for for E Warren after uh, dodging that tornado. Uh, Got to be careful with warnings, though. Uh, e Warren does, and everyone. Uh, we've seen the penalty bug strike just about everyone. I think we only had one Wizard Award uh, ended out last night. Um, so yeah, pen penalties are gonna play a big factor in uh, who finishes where at the end of this race, especially if there is a late safety car. Um, we have uh, uh, who was that? 
uh, Lewis Asa saying hi. Uh, one Gabriel uh, GF saying Brazil. Uh, shout out to Brazil. Brazil. We do not have a Brazilian in, uh, in contest speed no, at the moment. No longer. So, hey, man. We want to be, you know, bring, bring back the pride and glory to Brazil. Absolutely. Please, there uh, should be a link down there in the, in the bottom of the stream. Yeah, please, please do it. And join us. Well, here we are. Huh. Uh, AM Tuesday. You know, contest of speed. Um, racing fan with his second consecutive pull and uh, looking to really stamp his authority on this championship for season nine. Uh, Shelly the Turtle with by far his best qualifying position in P2. Cam Tizzle looking to follow up a pretty strong race um, last week in Monza. Uh, DK for the final time this season will be coming in at P4. No, he'll probably be going balls to the wall. Uh, Captain Rogan, P5. Deathstorm coming off of his first career podium and Koss in P6. Secure the perks in P7. Wing it in 8th. Tin Man is the highest reserve in P9. Harris Plex in P10. He had a pretty good result last week at Mons as well. Motor is coming in at 11. I Exotic is the... Oh, actually, no, he's not. Uh, he's starting in 12th. Chase NASCAR is the first to start on mediums. Uh, Chase NASCAR finished 6th last week. Uh, Spectre Ukraine is in P14. ZX did not get a chance to qualify. He will be on the mediums. She's had uh, same situation on the softs. E. Warren dodged a tornado. He's on the softs as well. And Electric Blade uh, is serving a qualifying ban stemming from his uh, round two kerfuffle with Vamu. And uh, he will be, uh, he'll have it all to do today in order to get back into this championship. Uh, it's absolutely glorious. I love that uh, the helmet glitch is still a thing for 15 through 17 people with helmets. Yes, I love to see that. And uh, looking for a good camera angle here. Looks like Shelly the Turtle is going to get a slightly better start, but actually, every. Wide. Yeah, DK and Cam Tizzle. I think everybody got a better start than Racing Fan. And Shelly the Turtle is going to take the lead here. And this is looking a lot like last week. Racing Fan struggling with the starts. Really clean through turn one for absolutely everybody. Yeah, that, that was, was, that was great. Ooh, that Cam was good. Cam gets grapple. pushed wide. Oh, and I think that's a Red Bull back there. I think that's Tin Man as well. Getting into the gravel a little bit. Let's see if everybody can uh, keep it clean through Tosa. Looks like they did. Harris Plex and Wing it going side by side up here. And Piratella into Aqua Minerale. Probably not a good idea to go side by side through here. Uh, definitely not. A uh, single file corner all oh. the way through. Uh, had a lot of kink slappers coming out yeah, of that corner. Yeah, that is going to happen. Uh, but looks like Harris Plex is none the worse for wear uh, throughout that. I'm not even sure if we haven't... Oh, there's a little bit of damage at the back. I think that might be might be Cheesehead. I saw an end plate fly off as they went around that final chicane. Check for it. Yep. Uh, it's the Haas of uh, ZX. Ah. Oh, and we got Chase Nascar or Spectre around. Final corner. I don't know if he got any help with that or not, but... Well, he's made it further than he did yesterday, so that's a start at least. Who chased NASCAR and, uh, and she said must have got damage. Um, I only have telemetry for ZX, which is probably why I only knew that he had damage. Um, Wing it did get, uh, Harris into turn one, or turn two, I suppose, that, uh, Chicane Tamarello. Kind of a, uh, a bit of a gap though. Yeah, the, from him yeah this was this was the real battle pack here. Is e Warren's going side by side with Secure the Perks. He's had a tough start. Uh, Secure the Perks dropping down to P11 after starting seventh. Oh, and dude, is that that's Motor just going completely off there uh, in Aqua Minerale, but uh, he gains it. That might e be his internet. Secure the perks. That's up seven spots. Yeah, this is uh, a big start for me, Warren. I mean, I gotta, I, I have to assume that he's got adrenaline still pumping from, uh, I don't know, 
tornadoes and lightning bolts uh, trying to take them out. Uh, but and the, corn. No, don't forget the corn. And the corn. Yeah, of course, there's always corn. Everybody's setting a fastest lap. DK starting to reel back in Shelly at the top of this uh, race. Racing fan is uh, hanging on here, but I, I think uh, DK is DK is starting to turn the uh, turn the screws a little bit. I like when you turn my screws a little bit, but yeah, mm -hmm. those top three are starting to uh, drive away. It's kind of the top three, uh, the next three, and then everyone else uh, all on a big train. And I think DRS, once that gets enabled, is going to play a uh, pretty big part on uh, this, the field spread that we're going to end up seeing here. Uh, BK's prediction pre-race was uh, Cam and Shelly will get on the podium. He's looking for a parlay there. And so far, Shelly does look pretty good. He's opened that back up to about nine tenths now on DK. Oh, who is that? Who is that? Oh, we got two people around. Yeah, oh, it's e Motor and E Warren. Oh, it's. I'm just gonna oh, assume that, that's. There is definitely contact there because E Warren has is missing an entire. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that's probably entirely on Motor. Uh, bummer for E Warren after probably the best start out of anyone. Now Shelly goes fastest lap yet again. But yeah, Cam Tizzo picks up an early three second time penalty. Uh, all over the back of the Ferrari. Doesn't quite have enough to make a move in the turn one on Captain Road, but I think uh, Cam Tizzo is by far quicker. Yep, Captain Rogue's got a lot on his plate here. These two races in Italy, he's got to got to carry the torch for Ferrari. Finished P7 last week, currently in P4 this week. This is allowing Death Storm to catch these guys up. Uh, then after that, there's another gap to wing it. Uh, Chase NASCAR pumps down the fastest lap of the race. Cam Tizzle picks up a three-second time penalty. First of many, I would assume. These time penalties, I don't I don't know if you remember, we basically had a green-white checker at the end last, last season. And um, those time penalties really wound up coming into play. We had guys that finished like 12th on track, finishing 6th. It was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I think uh, Elite Game Boy jumped up like 8 spots. I think it was yeah, RJ. It was RJ, I believe. Oh yeah, RJ, he spun on the, the restart and ended up getting... Yeah. Six spots back just without having a penalty. Uh, I think the one to watch at the moment uh, in this race, we got uh, Electric Blade, Ecos Blade, and P10 on the Oh, uh, yeah, I think Cam Tizzle was looking for a move around the outside into turn two. Uh, Captain Rogue uh, decided to completely close that off last second. Almost a big one. Almost a big one. Yeah, Rogue's fighting for his life there. Uh, he is falling away uh, pretty pretty rapidly from the guys uh, in front of him. So Cam it, probably needs to get this move done if he's going to do it. Oh, we got another Ferrari around his motor. Uh, out of the Yep, and he does not have a front wing either. Uh, motor doing a pretty good job here tonight. Oh, who's that? That's Secure the Perks. Yeah, he was struggling a little bit last lap. Uh, Aqua Minerale strikes. Aqua Minerale, ooh. There's no ghosting, hopefully. Uh, yeah, no ghosting. Uh, that was uh, a bit sketchy. Not the first Alfa Romeo to have somebody sliding in front of him this week. Um, shout to Guan Yu Zhou for not killing yeah, Carlos Sainz. Yeah, pretty good reactions. Uh, he, he's been doing pretty good this season. Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's, he's been impressive. Uh, um, DK, oh, did not really see that happening. Now, the thing with DK is he usually runs very trimmed out setups. He's fast in a straight line. More often than not, not sure if he made a mistake, perhaps, coming out of uh, Ravazza or what, but a uh, racing fan has been able to get there, and this is all good news for Shelly. He's now broken DRS. Yeah, if Shelly can uh, keep it together this lap, uh, drive away from the racing fan, Good chance of uh, pulling a little bit of a gap, but I think racing fans on it at the moment. Uh, Dirty closed four tenths up in this sector, and Motor uh, calls it quits in the pits after a impressive six laps. Yep, 
memorable for sure. You probably won't remember any of it. Uh, let's see, Ecos Blade is currently the highest running medium. He was able to uh, miss all that carnage uh, at the back of the field. And he has slowly worked his way up. He's now on the back of Harris Plex for P8, and I think this is going to be a pretty easy move. Sorry, Blade. Yep, commentator's curse gave him a penalty there. Uh, but yeah, I think he will have this move done on the Mercedes. Which he's going to go down the inside quick and quick around. Yep, it, took, it takes two to tango. Uh, obviously, it's a straightaway, it's flat out, you're going 200 miles an hour, but there's also multiple corners all within uh, that straightaway. So, it can be a little tricky with that late dog leg into turn two. Uh, yeah. We saw actual professional F1 drivers uh, not be able to make it through there. Uh, it's not surprising uh, that there has been a couple collisions there. Oh, DK! Oh, DK! No! Oh, there's ghosting oh. Cam Tizzle. Oh, he's he at the wall. Cam uh. Tizzle is sliding to avoid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man, we got part of sliding. Yeah, that is, right. that is wing it. That was wing it and... Uh, was that? Electric blade. Bl blade. Oh, yeah, electric blade. We were able to thread the needle there. Um... But yeah, oh, that's unfortunate for for Cam and DK. Super unfortunate for DK, and then Cam just an innocent, innocent bystander there. Uh, but, but I think Cam got the worst of it because he is missing his entire front wing. Uh, yeah, DK he just has spicy tires. Yeah, he's gonna get off those. This might be a two stop for DK now. Uh, he's probably gonna need a safety car. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunate for DK. He's, he's going the hearts, so he, okay, he's taking okay. those two. Okay. I think he was he was having some some problems there. Uh, he, he was sliding sliding that lap. He was losing a lot of time to the, uh, yeah, the front he, two. He, he had just picked pick up. up yeah, he had just picked up a penalty. He lost over a, about a second. As E Warren picks up a time penalty. Let's go back up top because racing fan is flirting with that one second gap to Shelly the turtle for the lead of this race. Oh, I hate to say it for BK, uh, his part of leg might be kind of toast after that one. Yeah, that's, that's, rough, uh, that's rough for Cam. I don't know, Cam's showing, showing signs. He just, yeah, put a yeah he just, he just, he just has not moment. been able to get, get an entire race together yet. Uh, some of that's through no fault of his own as well. Um, Shelly does a good job again through Sector 3. Oh, I thought he broke DRS. Uh, he did not quite. But he is uh, doing a good job of keeping Racing Fan at bay. Racing Come Fan on. is completely out of battery. He, uh, he was at zero all the way down that straightaway, so he is pushing really hard trying to keep up with the Turtle Man. Um, but yeah, both of these guys have kind of stretched their legs on the field about six seconds to Captain Rogue uh, behind him, who lost all his competition. Him Tizzle. Him Tizzle. Him Tizzle uh, spun into the wall. Deathstorm. Uh, Mr. Consistent himself, uh, he's hanging around there in B4, uh, about three and a half seconds back, or two and a half seconds back. Yeah, Deathstorm, uh, quietly putting together another solid race. That podium last week, uh, vaulted him up into P4 in the championship. Uh, he's only two behind Captain Rogue. I mean, he just watches everyone else spin around him every race, and he just, he just keeps on trucking, alright? Deathstorm is not one, knock on wood, to make a ton of mistakes in a race. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's looking good for a strong result here uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, it's, speaking of looking strong, it's Electric Blade. Yeah. Uh, or the artist formerly known as Electric Blade catching up to wing it now. On those harder compound tires, and this is going to be a pretty easy move, you have to imagine. There's not much wing it can do about that one. Yeah. File in behind the Haas and hope uh, hope he can stick with them uh, and kind of extend his soft stint a little more. Uh, we're, we're oh Blade, well, what a save! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, wow, 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 wee wow. Well, oh no, and he's he gone. Got on the grass. He got on the grass. Ah, that threw him off. 
That threw him off, and he had done such a good job so far to get up there. Yeah, we were hyping that. Yeah, is that our fault? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, he's got to be real careful now. He just got to. He's going to have sand all over those tires. They're going to be extremely hot. Deathstorm picks up a three second time penalty. Nothing, nothing to really be ashamed of there. I think uh, just about everybody is going to have R, a time penalty. Yeah, R is going to be three seconds. At least. BK asked uh, over or under Wizard Award winners. Quite frankly, I'd say probably One points. Yeah, I was gonna say point five. I don't, I don't know. It's really hard to do around here. Oh, there's another one gone. Yep. Uh, Deathstorm Death and Harris both picking up penalties this lap. Oh, and Exotic. There goes another one. Uh, so we are down to what is that? Four guys, five guys without any a penalty. One of them, Tin Man. Then uh, he was the one that picked it up in like a lap and a half last night. First, yeah. Yes. Yeah, this uh, this track is not great for uh, not getting penalties. It's so so, there's, there's so, so many, many places. Yeah. So many places. Welcome back to the rest are good. We got both Alpha Tauris coming out the last corner. There won't be any team holders here. Definitely not. Dizzle may have, may have got past Cheesehead that lap. Let's see if they're going to chase NASCAR and Exotic. Oh, boy. Oh, Exotic holds on to it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just one of those things. Uh, if you can't get that move done in the first part of the chicane... You're losing the spot. You, you so, won't, someone's... You won't yeah, and there's a pretty good chance someone's going to gonna be going off. Because there's just not enough room that the uh, Tamborello chicane gets... Uh, just gets tighter as you go along. Um, Shelly and Racing Fan up into the pits. Let's see what they put on. It's going to be Shelly mediums. Racing Fan went hards. Mediums and hards. We'll have to see what kind of... What Shelly can do here. Yeah, if Shelly can break DRS, he's got a good chance of winning this race. Yeah, he does. And uh, we don't have to remind anyone here of the uh, heartbreak he suffered in Portugal last season. Whenever he absolutely dominated that race. But, uh, and I, I just saw something that's going to help out uh, Shelly. Uh, one, Ecos Blade sliding right in between him and Racing Fan. But two, uh, Shelly's got teammates in front of him. I don't know if uh, he'll come into play or not. I, I do think uh, it looks like Blade has fully recovered from those uh, that uh, first sector from hell a few laps ago. Um and uh, it'll be honest to see how much pressure he can put on Shelly on those fresh mediums. Um, Shelly might be able to scoot off into the distance a little bit, but he does miss the apex there around uh, Piratala. Um, but yeah, you'll see him like just pull away from from Blade here. Out of all the traction zones, uh, the fresh tires are much nicer than uh, the used ones. Yeah, here he is. Get much better running. Yeah, there is all chances of. Oh, he's, he's gonna say he's out of DRS, but for Blade holds on. Nine tens back. He's that's holding on. He's here. he's gonna have it, and that's gonna help him out a lot. Uh, fending off Racing Fan there. Cheesehead picks up another one. Tin Man will pit. So uh, well done to uh, the makeshift Red Bull teammates. Tin Man uh, not interfering with Shelly's race. Jumping off in the pits. Oh, almost. I thought it was going to give him DRS as well, but it didn't quite. Um, God, DRS is so OP. Yeah, it's really, really powerful. Just <laughs> electric one from nine and a half tenths back to maybe a tenth. In uh, in the the distance of that straightaway racing fan back here on these hards. Uh, now the hards aren't too bad around Imola, um, but they are uh, going to take a couple laps to really become reliable yeah he's uh probably gonna run down Ecos Blade this lap uh, or at least get within DRS um yeah the hards do need about a good 2-3 laps of full green flag running to get up to speed but yeah they, they are pretty they're a reliable tire uh but yeah the mediums are the mediums are the best tire uh, by a long shot <clears throat> if you can stretch them which a lot of these guys are, I, I guess, they're banking on. Uh, didn't even 
uh, mention it at the at the time, but uh, not only did Shelly put on mediums, uh, pretty much everyone else in the top five did as well. Uh, Captain Rogue, Deathstorm, Wing It, Harris Plex, Tin Man, Spectre, they've all put on, on the mediums. Um, and uh, you now have a nice little mix of guys on hards that pit early and uh, guys on mediums who are on their selected strategy. Deathstorm and Captain Rogue going at it right now Racing through P4. Ah, so oh, I missed it. Uh, but we do have some shenanigans going on back here, Deathstorm and Captain Rogue. For P4, these guys are about seven and a half seconds off of the top three at the moment. Uh, Electric Blade's done a really good job. By the way, to put him in a in a decent uh, chance for points, even with even with that little uh, little incident he had. Captain Rogue, oh, three seconds. And then there were four. Yep, not even halfway through this race, four are left. Uh, Tin Man got great What's mileage on those tires. I don't have any warnings. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Uh, they're the only two. The two leaders, uh, both one warning away from a three-second penalty. So, I think our three seconds is our uh, end up holding up by the end of this race. We got someone around. It's a Mercedes to the first. Ah. Uh, uh, not gonna focus on that because Ecos Blade is gonna get that move done again on Racing Fan. Uh, they're just gonna go back and forth here. Let's see if Deathstorm can get you know, Rogue. He's loving that. Oh, no yeah, it looks like Deathstorm's definitely faster right now, but he cannot get around Captain Rogue. He has gotten, uh, he's been having some Alonso S defending uh, today. We saw that with Cam Tizzle, now we're, now we're seeing that with Deathstorm. Yeah, Rogue, he can't quite fire off the stint uh, as well as everyone else, but he, uh, by the end of that stint, he was setting really competitive lap times uh, with everyone. So. <laughs> Looks like uh, secure, secure the Perks also had some wing damages. Uh, ooh, Racing Fan gets a move done out of Aqua Minerale into Variante Alta. And he's going to lose that spot down in turn one. Probably, like, yes. Gets the RS. Racing Fan is lagging all over the place for me. I don't know, I don't know if you see that as well. Uh, a little bit. I saw a little disconnect. Yeah, it's the X's that are scary. Pretty much. Another three. I don't think Blaze is going to be close enough here. Let's say though. Oh, uh, Raising fan burnt all of his ERS. He is down to five. Yeah, percent. yeah. You can see his his uh, little light blinking on the back of his car uh, as he gets about halfway down that front straightaway. He is out of the ERS. It's not ideal for him. Uh, yeah, and I don't think he's going to shake Blade. Uh, unless Blade makes a mistake. Um, he looks to be... He, I mean, he has the same pace as these guys up front. He just you know, had to start at the back of the race due to a previous incident. Yeah, and I think... Uh, you know, I, was, I was looking at the, at the points. Electric's... Electric's 11th in points. He's a full uh, 41 and a half points off of the championship lead. Um, he's gonna. He, I knew he was gonna have to do something today, even with that qualifying man. He's gonna have to get a podium or at least a top five uh, to to maintain uh, any sort of chance early on here. But I think a top five is about all he can get. I think wing it. He's looking good for a solid top five as well because he doesn't have a time penalty at the moment. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe sixth is a. I think sixth is about all. I don't know if you're going to know for this. Once he comes out the pits. Uh, if you're right. So what? He's probably going to pit in three laps or so. He'll be able to yeah, get on the softs. Yeah, bring it up the fifth. I think I think the top five will stay pretty much the same, uh, at least with those five drivers uh, pinning any safety cars. Uh, he'll also, I mean, he'll also have a really good chance at getting um, the fastest lap as well. Yep. So that'll so be an extra six, six in the top, uh, six in the fastest lap. That's uh, 
nine points. Ooh, yes. That's what picks up another three second time penalty. Trying to stick with Captain Rogue. <coughs> yeah, they're probably starting to, to pull away from him. Um. Oh, uh, speaking of fastest laps, um, I don't know if you remember uh, who won last season's race here. That crazy uh, overtime race that we had. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Racing, Racing fan, fan got was two. yes, he was second. Uh, Elite Game Boy was on the podium. No, he got wrecked. Elite Blade is pit early, by the way. Uh, are they in this race tonight? Yes. DK. It's the man we've been talking about for the last three minutes. It's oh, Ecos Blade, oh. and I, I only remembered that because he set a uh, he set the fastest lap on the final lap as he came across the line. Yep. Uh, so he's looking he, to do that he again got that today. Uh, no, I think he finished. F I thought he finished first on track. I might be wrong. Um, <clears throat> I only looked at the results. Uh, he did come out of the pits P11 on those softs. The only driver on the softest compound. He will be absolutely flying around this track. Uh, but he is three and a half seconds off of Cheesehead, another second off of Cam Tizzle ahead of him. Is, uh, let's move back towards the front. Cheesehead's probably going to be boxing here shortly. Uh, he's been on these tires yeah. for hey, quite a while. I think Cam Pizzo will probably be his first guy. Cam and Harris will be the first guy. Oh, yep. Look at that. Cheesehead boxing this one. Oh, there he goes. Um, uh, let's look up here. Harris Plex and I Exotic are having a bit of a battle at the moment. And that'll be uh, fun for uh, Electric Blade to try to get through when they both have DRS on each other. Not ideal for anyone trying to make their way through the grid. Yeah, um, TK's done a good job getting back up into P6 on those hard compound tires. I like to see where his tire wear is at, actually, um, on those hards. Uh, you want to know, uh, his tires are at about 30% across the board. Uh, right sides are a little bit worse looking around 30. So it'll be around 70% at the end of this race. Um, it's That'll gotten, be manageable. Yeah, it'll be manageable, but uh, you do have some guys behind him coming through. I, I do, I'm do. i starting to see it now. I, I think, yeah, Blade's probably max effort barring any shenanigans. It's probably going to be uh, P6. Um, but up front, uh, Deathstorm's fallen off of Captain Rogue there. And uh, she's had... We oh, haven't checked these penalties. He might be looking at a... I feel like... Yeah, he's at 12. He is okay. at 12 seconds. He's um, at 12. Uh, 30 gets you kicked out, uh, disqualified from the race. I, I don't think anyone will get to that. I think we'll probably get... get someone will hit, you know, the 20s. Probably T said. Um, but speaking of people that have kind of gapped the person racing, Shelly driving away from racing fan on those hards at the moment. Yeah, uh, racing five fan. Seconds. Racing fan with that DRS. Oh, secure the perks has DNF. Oh, and that is going to be a VSC. So Shelly's going to be breathing a, sh a sigh of relief there. It's oh! Full car. It's a full safety car. So this is going to change everything. Shelly's able to get in the pits immediately yep. to throw on a yep. set of softs. Racing yep. fan as well. We're going to have a shootout uh, for the second consecutive year uh, here in Imola. Ooh, uh, Captain Rogue stayed out. Captain Rogue staying out. That is an interesting call. Uh, yeah, and you know what? I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I think everyone else will be fitting here for a new setting. It is. It's hard to overtake. But it's not that hard. Oh, here. no. Death Storm's put on mediums. Oh, what? No. Oh, oh God. D. 
DK on the softs, I Exotic on the softs, Cam Tizzle. Oh, his pit box is just a little late. That's softs. Electric Blade went with. Oh, yep, he pit again for a new set of softs. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong in that. He probably could have stayed out, uh, honestly. Uh, yeah. Where he was, and I, I probably, if I was Electric Blade, I probably would have stayed out there and then got track position on all those guys. Looks like cheese head staying out as well on the mediums. Just put on a new set of mediums so they lap yeah, over this. Yeah. But everyone else. Uh, I gotta. Nice I, I, I gotta. I gotta wonder. I wonder if Deathstorm meant to do that. I, I don't. That could have been just him not changing the stuffs. I, I think he meant to do it. Uh, just expecting the tire to be a lot worse than it actually is. Because uh, you know the softs will fall off at around lap 9 uh, in a stint. But we're also on lighter fuel. Um, as I just see the softs firing off so much better than the mediums. Uh, just at this point in the race. I don't know. Bold call. Fortune yeah, favors the bold. Uh, Maybe yeah, not like, in this situation. Other than Captain Rogue, I, I'm really not a fan of, uh, of Electric Blade's thought process there. You know, the pit. He only had two laps on those sauce, and they were, they were around 10%. Uh, but I mean, he would have had these three laps, up, or two two laps under safety car, at least. Um, and he was how much? Planning, like, the end, so, uh, how much would he? How much would he have gained in terms of track position? Uh, he would have been up half swinging. Ah. I mean, he would have been P P four P five on a slightly used set of softs. Uh huh. Um, Cam Tizzle says Jeff said medium. Uh, well, good thing for Cam Tizzle he didn't listen to yeah. Jeff. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, should not be your engineer. You should find a lovely cost driver to help you out. With oh. If you need it. But, you know, really, really not too difficult. You know, 10 laps to go in any race. Uh, most likely you're going to the softs. You know, sometimes, sometimes that heart gets, uh, gets pumping a little bit, you know. And just get a little flustered, make the wrong call. Under a safety car. Uh, now is a good, good, uh, good opportunity to thank our sponsors, uh, NordVPN, Fanatec, DigitalMotorsport.com, SimLabs, SimLabs. SimLabs. Hopefully, all uh, I don't know how many of you are watching at the moment. I think it's around 25. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a enjoyable experience. Uh, we're about to see uh, Captain Rogue. He's gonna have to bunch up this field too, because that's a late call. And, uh, yeah, he really backed him up. Like, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing he could really do either. That was just a late call from the safety car. Yeah, there he goes. He's gone. I think that's a pretty good move. Racing fan and Shelly the Turtle. This might be for the race win. Get past uh, Deathstorm as well. So we're two by two behind the leader. Whoa! Keep it clean, fellas. Deathstorm backed out. Oh, good job oh. from Shelly. Good job from Shelly to keep Racing fan Great behind him. There. Yep. Oh, we got hey, was that a? Uh, oh, there's multiple people back here. Oh, that's a Haas ZX. She's oh, had got a fight. Oh, oh, yep. no. Oh, wait, and Shelly's in the lead. What has happened? Oh, we're trying to figure out what's going on at the back of the field. Looks like Shelly's made a move into. Um, that had to have been a mistake. Tosa. Perhaps a little bit of oversteer coming out of uh, Vilnov. Oh, Wing has got a run on Racing Fan here. Oh, boy. That's going to be tight. Oh, and there's not room. No, there's, there's no not space. room. And who's this? That's Death Storm. He's gonna. Oh, he might have a run down the inside here. No. Oh, oh. Don't touch. oh, oh they touch. Gonna... Wing it able to hold on to it somehow. Oh, gonna spin off the side of him. Oh, good job. Oh, jeez. Holy there. cow! This is some real uh, heart in the Ooh. in the throat <laughs> moments here. And uh, once again, this is all favoring Shelly the Turtle. 
looks He's like gone. yeah, it looks like it's like all these battles. Uh, the Magic Eight Ball's coming up green. Oh, oh, shoot! Is that DK almost? Oh man, ZX with an absolute send on Spectre ended up cutting the corner in turn one, but he made it stick. Shoof! That is about as manic of a restart as you're gonna get. And uh, still, I mean. It's they all... are nose to tail from second to eleventh. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. Yeah, second to ninth, all all the right under. Good stuff here. Run on exotic. Nah, nothing doing there in the aqua mineral. Oh, and here's Plex. Looks like he uh, takes a little too much of that inside curb. Let's see if uh, Electric yeah, Blades I mean, able to make a move. Here just open you up to a move from the guy behind you. Yeah, all kinds of counter moves. Whoa, oh, whoa! Contact. Yeah, I think Rogue was trying to squeeze him a little bit there. Well, what a and move Wingate's going to be able to get it done, wow. too. It's a very opportunistic move from Wingate, but that's going to bunch these guys up. He had to take a little bit too much of that second Ravatsa curve. Here comes These guys are going to have no ERS for the last five laps. Yeah, this has been an outright sprint. Let's see if Deathstorm wants to send it. No, not quite DK. Yeah. DK looking for a way around as Death well. Storm. And this is just an absolute pack race. Yeah, any mistake here just leaves you extremely vulnerable to the, uh, the guy in front of you. So you got to keep it nice and tidy while trying to make up as much ground as you can because once everyone gets spaced out that's pretty much the race yeah it is and uh, I mean just look really look at it. yeah it was look at this leaderboard here it is after you get past P3 wing it uh, everyone down to P11 is within half a second <laughs> of the person in front of them Yes, more and helicopter shots, are, please, yo, that is director. Uh, all aboard the Ferrari train. Uh, yeah, those those mediums are not doing Captain Rogue any favors at the moment. Yeah, These he's guys holding everybody up. For, uh, with dirty air, uh, getting penalties, but here comes the horde. All with DRS now. Oh, we're going three wide in the one. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, we might. DK, oh, oh, please do that. Uh, How did DK hang on to that? Oh, what a move from DK. Oh, exotic. Around the outside. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Jesus. These guys are absolutely going. <laughs> I don't know oh, how we haven't goodness. seen anything. Absolutely. Oh, this is fantastic. Great. So, yeah, this uh, is uh, some of the best we've seen all year uh, out of this group. Meanwhile, racing fans taking about a second out of Shelly's lead up front. There's five la or six laps to go, um, and Shelly has a two and a half second advantage. So uh, keep both an of eye on that. Shelly and racing fan are on two warnings uh, compared to oh no, Winget's got two warnings now as well. So the top three are all one warning away from a three second time penalty. E Warren with a nice. Oh boy, he got body checked by the Ferrari. Yeah, uh, think think. Oh god, he's gonna drop right back in. Oh, Harris. Oh, Harris is in the grass. Oh, he just. Oh no. He yeah, Rogue's cornered. done it again. Rogue yeah, is. Rogue has just gotten. Spot. He's just gotten out of control here. Um, unfortunate for Harris, he was just a bit of a victim. And that's oh, I exotic. Again. Oh god. In the back with the guys that have all spun. She said Harris. Rogue. <laughs> Whoa, what a move from Harris. Switch back after switch back. Oh boy, yep. Oh, uh, well, you can't make it too wide through there. Yeah, and they're both gonna spin. At least Harris is. Uh, yep, yeah, well, that accordion effect has seemed to uh, space these boys out a little bit. Something was eventually going to happen. Someone was going to lose it. It was wound up. It was Rogue and Harris. Uh, we got nine seconds in penalties for DK, Exotic, and Deathstorm. Uh, Exotic and Deathstorm both being one warning away from twelve. Uh, as Exotic. Shoo! 
Uh, this could be a pretty good result for E. Warren, who's uh, just happy to be alive tonight. Uh, if he well, keeps that, that at battling, three. Uh, Tin Man is right on the back of these guys, along with Spectre. Uh, but Tin Man is playing on penalties at the moment. Oh, One yeah. Warning to his name. Yeah, these four, knock on wood. Oh, is that I Exotic getting the move yeah, done? Exotic. I Exotic looking for perhaps, well, never mind. He has 12 seconds yeah, of penalties. <laughs> never mind. Warren and Blade with just three seconds of peace for both of them. Uh, I mean, they're going to climb up the grid at least a little bit, a couple spots. Uh, with, I mean, only with having three seconds. So maybe six seconds was far. For some, some reason, for some reason, Vamu um, wants us to curse Shelly and Racing Fan. Well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. Uh, but Racing Fan has, I should say, ooh, is that going to be a penalty? No. Uh, he has chopped another second off here in the last three laps. So this is getting tight. Yeah, Shelly's probably sweating bullets right now. Uh, uh, especially when you consider one more mistake from either one of these two is probably going to take him out of uh, condition for the race win uh, with that three second time penalty looming. Just extremely tight butthole moments here from Imola. Well, and Exotic is getting ready to run to ODK. Oh, had a little bit of a run. Had a, had a think about it and thought against sending it there, uh, but they're running down his teammate, uh, Wing It. Um, he's still holding P3. Oh, oh holy sh... <laughs> so we've seen this before. This is the uh, Haas train. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they are... Always end up yes, yes, they do. <laughs> they really do. Um, but yeah, yeah, Blade is absolutely flying right now. P7. Oh, and that is Racing Fan. Three second time penalty. Let's see how aggressive he gets now. But now Shelly can breathe a little bit. A uh, little bit, but he can't do it either. He can't yep. He can't do it either. Shelly also has a slight ERS advantage. Yeah, Wingen uh, doesn't have the pace for these guys. He's fallen back from the top three, or from the top two, uh, into the grasp of the giant DRS train. Uh, from, what is that now, third to ninth still? <laughs> Uh, E. Warren is oh, yeah, he's at yeah. He's up. got a two. Yep. He's got a two second gap. They're kind of splitting these boys up now. Um, but uh, here goes I, I Exotic. I it's around, it's around exotic yeah, right I don't think there's really any reason for Wing it to fight uh, either I Exotic or especially his teammate, uh, given the penalty situation. If he just keeps this car uh, between the white lines, he's going to be finishing third tonight. I think as long as he keeps it pointing forward, he's... Oh, DK! Oh, DK! Off the track. Yeah, DK is, is the one that doesn't need to be losing time to the McLaren uh, if he wants those points. Um, he's the only one that can benefit from Exotics. But he needs to be within three seconds to take advantage of Exotics. So it's in penalties. Uh, developing story at the front. Racing fan has gotten this to about one second. Uh, he is he is turning the screws now. He has to go. He's taking risks in every corner to get DRS and to catch Shelly the Turtle oh, man, in P1. Trying to put pressure on Shelly, who Blade just needs to keep this clean. Oh. To the final couple corners. Blade gets it done. We got Hassan Williams battling for 6th through ninth here. Uh, I think Deathstorm did about all he could for his teammate there. Oh, he's gonna get him. He's gonna get Blade back. I think uh, ZX is as well. ZX happened to lift for Deathstorm. Great defense there from the Williams driver, providing the ultimate cover for his teammate. Uh, so he's got two hungry hostages. Yeah, I'm missing. I'm, I'm missing all that. I'm missing all that right now. We're, we gotta focus on the lead. Uh, two laps, one and a half laps to go. Racing fan is on Shelly's tail. Uh, Shelly just has to keep a cool head at this point. And, uh, boy. I don't know what to watch. I don't know what to watch. He costs, uh, Electric gets back around his teammate for P8. Uh, T 
Tin Man at the same time. He's in P12, kind of close. Picks up another three Boy, he is just he is just hand over fist at the moment. I mean, he's getting three warnings a lap. Well, this final is the lap. final lap uh, brought to you by NordVPN. Um, and uh, I think Shelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to have to keep on the gearbox here. Keep it within the white this line, is just Shelly. an absolutely tense affair at the front of the field. Shelly the turtle doing everything he can not to pick up another penalty. Further down, Death Storm yeah, under under siege. Storm. He's been taken advantage of. Oh, excuse me. Well, he, he played great defense for his teammate there. Uh, they were all right behind e Warren, and now at three seconds there to his teammate. So Deathstorm did his job and secured P6 for e Warren, as long as he doesn't get another penalty. Shelly, though, on the tail of racing. Yep. Into, into, into Sector 3, we have a yellow flag. Oh, DK lost it. Oh, no. Oh, DK, no. Oh, oh DK. No. Uh, that's not how he wanted to say goodbye uh, to DK. We will still thank him for his service. Uh, racing fans going to cross this line in first place, but he's not going to win the race. It's going to be another first-time winner. It's Shelly the Turtle here at Imola. I Exotics going to cross in third, but it's going to be Wing It taking P3. That's your podium. E Warren's going to jump both of them. Oh my God! What was that? Is blade after the line? Oh, was that it's after good. the line? Oh, Jesus Christ! Man <laughs> <laughs> uh, up to P six. Oh, okay. it's oh he did the RJ. That's exactly what RJ did last season. Uh, finished like twelfth on track into P six. Deathstorm's gonna be P seven. ZX in eighth. I exotic in ninth. Spectre. Good for him. A yeah, getting right. a getting a point. That's gonna be ahead of guys like Captain Rogue, Chase NASCAR, DK Nortec, unfortunately. And Cheesehead, uh, Harris, Cam Tizzle round out the field that finished yeah, through the perks and motor. Uh, from P three on track to P nine uh, after release. Uh, I think he would have been seventh had he not got another three seconds every other lap. Um there we go, Cam. There we go, Cam. Let's do some donuts. There we go. Give them, give, give the people what they want. Uh, what the people want. It's gonna be this podium. Shelly the Turtle Racing fan, wing it. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions on driver of the day, let us know in the comments section. Uh, I'd have to say. Oh, with Blade. Blade or, or Blade or Warren? It's I, dude. I don't know. It's either Blade or Warren. Like they yeah, could they could be co. I'm going go with Warren. Uh, Co-drivers of the day. Qualifying. Yes. Uh, Didn't have any laps. Out of a tornado. Uh, uh, no laps of practice. T4. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like I like Warren for my point. Oh, the game got destroyed by an AI. <laughs> uh, apparently, E. Warren might have had some damage. I think he might have been dealing with some underbody damage. Uh, he said he might have been able to win that. Um, game gives Electric Blade the driver of the day. Tin Man says he finished 10th on track. Still got st uh, finished P6. So nice, nice okay. job by the uh, by Tin Man Mafia, the re the reserve driver, showing up and showing out this evening in Emma. But it's all about Shelly the Turtle tonight. It's the Turtle Man taking the turtle. dub. Taking the dub, no points in the first three races. 25 tonight. Very solid performance from him, and uh, maybe he can shoehorn his way into the championship conversation as we go further along into the season. Well, looking at the championship conversation, though, in, in terms of everything, racing fan uh, still. Ex I mean, this is a—it's—it's it's a, it's another very strong, strong day for racing fan. Uh, even if that wasn't an actual win, let's run through the grid one more time. Shelly the Turtle, racing fan, wing it is your podium. E Warren coming up from P17 finishes fourth. Uh, 
Ecos Blade coming up from dead last in P18 finishes fifth. Tin Man the Rowdy, the highest finishing reserve in P6. Deathstorm in seventh. ZX in eighth. I Exotic in ninth. Spectre UKR in P10. Uh, outside the points, Captain Rogue, Chase NASCAR, DK Nortech, uh, and Cheesehead, uh, Harris Plex, Cam Tizzle finish the last, the running order, uh, Secure the Perks, and Motown Motor City were the two DNFs this evening. Yeah, before we get started with all the podium interviews, though, got to thank DK for his service, as always. Absolutely. Uh, I'm saluting him right now. Yeah, we, we salute you, DK. Uh, be safe. Out there, overseas, in the desert. Um, yeah, we we will miss you. Uh, 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 we will we'll remember you. Well, on a more excited note, happy note. Uh, congratulations to our podium. Uh, we'll start with uh, the the remaining half of Team Dingit uh, MP3. Wing it. Uh, with your first podium this season. It's been a pretty wretched season for you so far. Uh, how does it feel to finally get a decent result on the board? Oh wait, did Wingit join? Did Wingit not join? I don't think Wingit joined. God, I asked a question and nobody is here. Uh, okay. Way to uh, go, Wingit. Yeah, yeah, way, way to go, me. First, uh, way to go, me. first podium of the year. Didn't even show up. Come on, Wingit. Come, come on. You know what, fine. I'll start with, we'll go top down. Uh, that sounds very sexual. Uh, Shelly, uh, congratulations on your first win in Contest of Speed? Can yeah, that's right. Check that? Yeah. Okay. No, no, yeah. That's right. yeah. Congratulations. Get hyped. Thank you. Oh, dude, I, I screamed when that racing fan got a time penalty. I'm very, very happy <laughs> about that. I, I did your screen but of sadness. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure you were sweating bullets with about five laps to go, sitting on two warnings. Your hands are probably shaking going into every chicane. Uh, describe the relief you felt uh, when you saw the McLaren behind you uh, pick up that 30 second time. Um, I screamed yes, and I probably woke up my whole household. Um, besides that, I mean, it was a tough race. Uh, I battled with racing fan on that first off stint, and then I put on the mediums, he put on the hards, and I got a little bit of a gap. Uh, I'm not sure if it was motor or who caused the safety car, but I, had, I went back in and got... I figured it was motor who usually causes them. And I uh, put on a fresh set of softs and carried them uh, to victory. Yep, uh, you did have the pace there. Uh, got to a big gap uh, on that safety car restart, making an aggressive move. Uh, we weren't able to catch it. Uh, did uh, Rogue make a mistake, or did you just, you know, send it? Uh, Rogue was a little bit slow uh, through oh. three and four. So oh, I just, shots. Uh, shots fired. I just, I just kind of sent him a, a ticket and, and said goodbye. Well, congratulations on your first contest speed win. Uh, move on to our championship leader at the moment. Uh, racing fan, 4218, is indeed a fan of racing and a you fan of every time. finishing. Yes, a fan of finishing on the podium. Uh, congratulations on P2 and expanding your championship lead. <laughs> Thank you. Um, didn't quite have enough for the win today. Uh, explain your strategy call. Uh, going on the hards to end the race uh, when you and Shelly pit on the same lap. Okay, was it a I'm mistake gonna... or did you mean to do it? Okay, I meant to do it because the plan coming into this race was is I was going to go to probably around lap 12 and go on the mediums. Uh, but then with on lap 10, I checked and my right front was at 66%. And I was, I was left with no choice. And I didn't think if my right front was wearing that badly, I could take mediums to the end from there. So I just put on hards and prayed that his tires would wear out, which I think they might have. There's a chance they might have towards the end, but yeah, nah. they, they were they were they were looking pretty good. Uh, so 
It went, went with the hordes out of necessity rather than yeah. strategy call, I guess. Yeah, I was um, praying, as soon as I realized I was losing all that time, I was Yeah, you, I mean, you were losing time hand over fist to uh, to yeah. Shelly, the turtle there. Um, but yeah, he still got to be happy with P2, uh, capitalizing on you know people with race bans, people with <laughs> qualifying bans, people not here. Uh, <laughs> now, I... I can can you can you do a math check on his? Um, I believe I believe we're looking at sixty five and a half points. Um, wow. Sixty five. <clears throat> uh, Forty seven plus eighteen. Oh, okay. I thought the gap. I was like, what? No, no. I'm not sure what the gap is. I'd have to I check. Think, uh, think it's probably, 30, 30 probably gonna be. I, I think you have a race in hand now. I mean, it might be Which wing it. Really no, it's not gonna be wing it. I think Deathstorm's probably P two at this point. Um. He finished yeah, seventh. Keeps throwing away good finishes. Yeah, but uh, that that's four that's four podiums out of four races, and uh, that's how you win championships. Yeah, we spot, saw Mitch Burns do it last season. Spotty attendance uh, that we're having right now. Let's see, uh, definitely making hay while the hay while the uh, while the sun still shines. Excuse me. Oh, and uh, and Racing Finn did get the uh, fastest lap that race, so another yeah, bonus point. So I was pushing incredibly hard. Sixty six. Uh, Nah. last run because I got held up by Rogue which he has to do he has to try to get the best finish he can which was unfortunate that I got caught behind him uh, yeah Shelly Shelly got him on the restart there and uh, he kind of got stuck behind him I could have got Shelly but I just didn't want to go side by side on cold tires through turn one so I backed yeah. out of it okay good yeah sure sure okay uh, congratulations to uh, the fan of racing uh, racing fan that? Uh, yeah. On P2. Uh, we'll move on to the guy I initially asked questions to, but he wasn't here. Uh, the remaining half of Team Ding It, Sir Wing It, uh, congratulations on your first decent result of the season. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the insult as well in that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got lost on the way here, so apologize for that. I don't, don't make it up here too often, so it's good to. Yeah, yeah, you know, good, good to find your way back. Uh, we'll be sure to uh, you know, give give you a tour guide before uh, before we see yeah, you next time. Um, yeah, so it's got to be a bittersweet result. You know, last race with you know, DK as your teammate for this season, uh, but the first race you finally put together uh, capitalized on you know a lot of penalties around you, uh, like the two guys in front of you and. Uh, were able to get P3. Um, and anything interesting happened in the race for you? What you want to want to highlight? Um, well, the start was pretty uh, hectic, but it was just about uh, avoiding any wrecks um, going into the first turn, and for the most part, um, had managed the first stint pretty consistently and uh, avoided any penalties all the way up until the very last lap of the race. Um, and I had a really good battle with racing fan after the safety car restart there. Yeah. Um, definitely a lot of contact, but we managed to both make it out without uh, any of us uh, suffering. And um, Then it was just pretty much cruising on the way to the end and uh, avoiding any penalties, so... Well, that's that's how you get podiums right there. Uh, yeah, there there was a lot of contact in the uh, like eight man train uh, that was the safety car restart. Uh, we, we had about nine cars nose to tail uh, for about five, ten laps there. Uh, absolutely crazy scenes. Um, but y'all three were the ones that you know capitalized on the situation. Um, so congratulations. On y'all's podium. Oh, shoot. Uh, we are moving on to Portugal next week, right, Kitten? That will be where we race uh, next week. How, how are y'all feeling about Portugal? Pain. Love it. So we got a pain, we got to love it. What about you, Ant? I'm, I'm excited to race there. It's one we've really done one action. got excited. So, it. Racing Fan, you are outnumbered. Your opinion doesn't okay. matter. Uh, okay. Yeah. I also had the worst race in life last season at Portugal. I spun a song. No, we don't have to remind Shelly about what happened at Portugal last season. Uh, Put two on the card this time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably run over that a couple times. Over the we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to Natural, see. Natural, 
we'll have to see how cost bets turns out next week uh, if if we have like people actually doing attendance before 7:45. Um, <clears throat> hey, mine still doesn't work, by the way. We know. We know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll be Portugal next week. Um, just try to do some numbers in my head here, which is probably a bad idea. Yeah, you should probably let me do that. Yeah. You know, um, I, I think at worst, uh, wing it. Wing it is P two now in the uh, in the championship, tied with Cheesehead. So. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, so th that that's the good news. The bad news is I think it's forty-one points um, behind Racing Fan. <laughs> so uh, oh so that's that's a pretty a hefty, but, you know. that's a that's a big gap. Hey, ten races still. Uh, so you know anything can happen. Maybe Racing Fan. You got any vacations coming up by chance? Okay, I do not. No. Oh. Uh -oh. No, no pressure, uh, but um, yeah, everybody can check uh, the races tomorrow. Here, EU two uh, will be racing tomorrow afternoon. Um, AM one, if you want to watch me and Andy struggle bus, uh, that will be uh, tomorrow evening, same time as the past two AM races. Uh, big congratulations to. The podium tonight, racing fan, uh, extending his championship, wing it with his first podium of the season. Uh, sounds like he's uh, guaranteeing another one next week. Um, and then uh, Shelly the Turtle with his first race win in Contest of Speed. Um, for all those guys, huge congratulations. Uh, for myself, Kitten Petter, and Andy Wu, uh, we'll see you next week from Portimao.